Hi everyone. Myself Dr. Vinod Kumar. Today I wish to introduce you a software application which will be very useful for the doctor community especially during the time of corona and social distancing. The name of this application is Grapes and there are some specific reasons for that I am recommending this software for the fellow doctors. The primary reason is that the software is very much customizable means according to the convenience of every individual doctor its features can be changed. And second thing is the software offers a component of machine learning which I may call like predictability means what are in interaction that you are doing with a patient record the software slowly learns your frequent prescriptions your frequent brands and whenever you come for next prescription the software will automatically give you the choices and reduce the time uh, for making a medical record and the third feature is that the software is so user friendly so that even if a person without having uh, a tech friendly skills can easily uh, learn the software and can apply on his daily OP clinics. So with all these features the overall time which a doctor spend for uh, recording a patient details and making a medical record is dramatically reduced and which in turn give you more quality time which can be spent with your patient. So once we log, get logged into the application, uh, as you can see in the screen, the name of the application is Grapes Doc, means Grapes for Doctors, which is actually a dashboard of, for the doctors in which uh, the number of OP patients who had taken appointment for this day, how many inpatients are having now, what is your patient flow in the last one year, in which months the patient flow is increasing, which one is decreasing, what is the trends, how much admissions are there in the last one, one year, and what is trends, uh, number of procedures, and what are the most important diagnoses that you have made which can be quantified and how much of the notifiable diagnosis like TB are you diagnosed in the last one year and what are the most suggested investigations and how much investigation that you have suggested that had gave a positive result. Like this all the salient features in your clinical practice that every doctors want to know is available in your fingertips. And this is a very unique design. This software has been designed is dashboard. So when you come inside to the dashboard of this app, we can see the outpatients. So when you click the outpatients, you can see the patients in the in the waiting list and previously visited patients. So once you uh, click the patient in the waiting list, you can see the primary details of the patient, including the token number. If the patient is previously visited patient. You, when you click on the patient, you can see all the uh, previous medical records of the patient including the patient's personal details, preliminary profile and the clinical notes in the chronological order of the dates means the latest notes will appear in the top end and the older notes will be in the bottom of the dashboard. And if you want to add something in just a, a clicking on, on a multitasking button, you can add notes, you can add orders, you can add lab reports, you can uh, give admission proposals. So I will demonstrate you how to add the notes. So you can see a text box there, you can type it or you can simply enable the mic so that the app will itself convert your voice to text. So it's as simple as this like I can demonstrate to you complaint of fever for two days history of vomiting and diarrhea three days see how simply we can transform this voice to text so this much user-friendly 
is the software and this platform and one of the other silent features i had noted in this is that whenever you was not with your patient whenever you was not in your op or hospital and you are in a group of your colleagues so you want to discuss about a patient or discuss about a clinical features so you can just go to the app just search with the patient name and you can with one or two clicks you can just take all the details of the patient you can take an image you can take an ecg uh, of the patient and discuss with your colleague and get an opinion from your colleague or if you are preparing a powerpoint for a presentation then you can simply export the details from this platform into your laptop and you can make the presentation so it's it's one of the unique feature that which i had attracted in this uh, application another uh, silent features is that if you want to add an image or a document for example an x ray or eeg or a ecg a patient is bringing to you you can just click in the camera and take the photo and it is directly stored into the database so uh, overall type which is taken for recording the patient data and making the medical record is dramatically reduced even up to 50 percentage so in this platform there are individual buttons available for adding notes adding orders adding lab reports uh, or uh, propose for an admission uh, we can check one by one now we are entering orders so the orders we can order for investigation we can order for a medicine prescription we, are, we can order for a procedure every all these things are actually entered in the same uh, text box but this application will recognize it and categorize it and do accordingly for example if i am an you know, ordering for uh, a drug called pantoprazole i am just enabling the uh, voice to text tool and i am commenting like uh, pantoprazole 40 mg so like in the screen it, uh, the application itself identifies it's as a prescription and arrange it accordingly in the same dialog box i can even order for a procedure for example ind that can also be transformed into text using voice to text tool or if i am ordering an investigation for example uh, blood routine so just click on the uh, voice to text tool and you can simply say blood routine examination then it is written like this and you can click on the lab results button so we can see the results of the patient all the result which is arranged in a chronological order according to the date and you, you can even see the trends of the uh, results uh, you can see the progression of the patient you can see the response to the uh, treatment in the laboratory findings and now when you want to propose an admission you can simply go to admission proposal and you can enter the details there usually what is seen in our op practices is that mostly the ops of bc consultants will be crowded so that uh, the consultant simply write admi- admission under what this and some procedures or prescriptions but thing is that the this consultant is going to attend the patient next time only after the next day rounds so that uh, what the consultant expected the what what is the expected outcome from the patient the con- the consultant is expecting that information is not clearly conveyed to the uh, to the uh, the staff in the uh, concerned ward for example the staff nurse or a you know duty doctor in the ward so you can simply enable the uh, mic button and just say what what is your expected outcome or just say what is the intervention that you are planning to do tomorrow so that the ward nurse or a, or the duty doctor in the ward instantly get what the consultant is planning and they can plan accordingly so that the time lag between preparing the patient uh, or a direct communication from the consultant to the ward can be avoided and it's actually a very unique feature which is incorporated in this application what make this app or what make 
the telecommunication option of this application different from the other application which is available in market is that this application is using a strong backup of the EMR data which is already available with the hospital or a doctor which is using the telemedicine application of this app get the EMR backup similar to what he used to get when he is in an office setup. In addition to that, he can even chat with the patient live or do a video call or an audio call or patient have the option to upload a document while on live communication by just clicking the photo and uploading it and even after prescribing the medicine the apps uh, this application will follow the patient like if a medicine is prescribed for three times a day the application will electronically intimate the patient three times a day to correctly take the medicine or if a medicine which have to be monitored or which have to make made sure that the patient is taking it like the medicine which we are using for TB or dots uh, the application allows a done button for the patient and if the patient is not uh, taking the medicine and clicking the done button it will give a reverse alert to the doctor and doctor can intervene uh, with the patient or this intervening uh, duty can be assigned to another assistant of the doctor so that the assistant can electronically monitor whether the patient is taking the medicine according to the protocol. So this is a very unique feature that this app is offering which you cannot find in any other application in the market. Another most important concern of every doctor who is offering this online platform to patient is that how the consultation fees from the patient has to be collected. Here in this app, uh, all the transaction is done transparently through the online platform like what you are doing in Flipkart or Amazon, uh, just like that. Your patient can just log in like some clicks that you can see in the screen. Uh, with these two, three clicks, he can directly pay the patient pay the consultation fees to the um, doctor. And what makes this app different from all the apps available in the market is that this application, Graves Doc application, is providing this service to the doctors completely free and not taking a single pie from the doctor as commission like other apps which is available in the market does.